this little baby might even try to feed himself. Oh no, the kookaburra's chased him away. <laughs> Never mind, baby. Your mum will get it for you. Oh no, he added himself. <laughs> there was lots of birds this morning. <laughs> he got it. The kookaburra. Is he going to eat it or is he taking it to his nest? They can't always stole it from him. Yeah, <laughs> they do that. <laughs> Come on, baby, help yourself. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Just try. <coughs> is that right, butcher bird? Come on, little baby magpie, try it. You can do it. Look at you go. <laughs> Now what are you going to do with it? <laughs> Parents walking around with that going, who am I going to feed this to? He's a bit confused now. Where are you going, crow? Maybe just tip the rest of it over onto the grass? Yeah. Mm, everybody can get some. Because those kookaburras seem to be a bit chicken, they don't want to come over. Kookaburras have got some now. <laughs> you got a piece, Cookie. It's all gone, Magpie. It's all gone. All gone. How much the crow is grabbing? He, do you reckon he's got babies too, or is he just eating it? He's flying off. Maybe he's. I don't know. G'day, guys. Welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am going to try something a little bit of an experiment today. <laughs> I'm just going to. I'm going to do some puddles, some resin puddles. So I have got my white mixed up here. I am using the Let's Resin regular resin, not the quick set, not the deep pour, just the regular one. It's not quite opaque. And I'm using my Bloom paste. So got, haven't got too much resin in there, it's about an ounce. Just got a bit of bubbles in there, so I've been stirring it. Right, so black and white, that's it. I'm just doing black and white because I just want to test something. So I'm just going to just try something. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Right, Lamp Black Acrylic Ink by Holbein. Um, gosh. Top gets a little film over it. I do wipe them afterwards, but sometimes that's not enough. One, two. Let's just try two. See how that goes. Get a good stir. Now with my Let's Resin, resin, I have waited 15 minutes. I stirred it for four minutes, I put it aside and put my timer on for 15 minutes, came back and decanted into there, there and left over in there. Um, and then started the video. So it's it's getting warm. I can feel it warm already because it's you know in a big big deep cup so it, it will warm quickly. Um, I think I might do three. There we go. Three drops. Was that three? I think that was three. So basically I'm going to just pour in my black layer um, and then I'm going to do puddles on top of that. Instead of just doing one puddle of white and one puddle of clear, I'm going to 
alternate. It's still transparent, but it looks quite dark. All right, so I've got some interference silver in here as well. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that into my, my clear, just that. It's not like mica powder. I certainly wouldn't use that much mica powder. Mica powder just sort of sinks to the bottom. This is different. It kind of just stays suspended, like very, very fine glitter. It sort of stays suspended. Yeah, that's getting quite warm now. Now, the reason for me waiting for it to warm up is I'm trying to get my resin to be a bit thicker. And I know the hot resin goes really thin, but I'm hoping that after it goes thin, it'll start thickening up again. Um, I'm just not getting the effects that I want because my resin is so thin. You know, when I don't have the air conditioner on in my studio, it gets to like 30 degrees or higher Celsius, and my resin is just getting so hot. You know when your honey or your syrup is, is hot, it goes really thin, and then when it's cold, it's really hot thick and gluggy and it's the same with the resin so my hot resin is going really thin <clears throat> and my white is dropping straight through it and it's not giving me the effects that I'm wanting I keep a little bit of that for my my stones at the end all right let's do this so I'm going to do a little bit of white And a little bit of clear and a little bit of white. I'm trying to make my little circles a bit smaller each time. A little bit of more clear. A bit more white. I think we'll end up with four layers here by the looks of it. A bit more clear. Last of my white. Going in the middle. I don't know what this is going to It might not do anything. It might be horrible. <laughs> it could be. I just, I was thinking about it. You know when you have your resin dreams and you think, oh, I wonder what will happen <laughs> if I do multi, multiple layers. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go. Now, I want to pour some of this in the middle, just a little bit, and then the rest of it, I kind of want to go around the outside to sort of push that white in. And see what that does. Like I said, could be horrible. <laughs> could be. You just never know what you're going to get, do you? Use the rest of that up. I don't want to put too much into the middle because I'm trying to get it to sort of close up in the middle. If your resin is still really quite thin, it moves to the middle <clears throat> quite quickly. But um, yeah, when it's a thicker resin, and the, the Let's resin is a bit of a thicker resin, it's a one to one, so it's a bit of a thicker resin. And it doesn't move quite as well anyway. Now let's put a little bit of this little black stones in the middle. I think they're black. Could be really, could be chocolate brown. <laughs> I'm not sure. Put some of those in there. Oops, that's not quite enough. <laughs> it's a bit too runny. Look at that. All right. Uh, I'll have to make a disc with my leftovers. It needs to be quite thick and chunky. You don't want the, um, the resin to spread. So if you have it thick and chunky like that, it kind of stays in place. That's a better option. All right. Let's just pop some of this in the middle. while I can still see the middle. Because <laughs> once it sort of closes over, it's difficult to see the middle. And with a, if a stone, like it's quite heavy, and it doesn't spread as much as, as glitter does. So we'll just leave it like that. All right, quick little torch. I don't want to overheat it by torching it um, because, you know, then the resin will get thin again um, and 
the white will drop so try not to make it too heavy yeah, I don't know what's going on there <laughs> all right we're just gonna have to wait I'm gonna get these sticky gloves off all right um, I'll put you on a bit of a time lapse and uh, we'll see what happens I'm a bit worried about that white the first ring it looks like it's dropped all right anyway we'll see what we'll see what happens Right, it has just come out of the curing machine, so still hot and a little bit soft on the edges. If I push my nail in, it makes a little dent, but it should come out pretty easy. Looks really weird on the top there, like it doesn't look like a normal, a normal pour, but then I didn't pour it in a normal way, so I guess that's to be expected. So, well, I don't know, I will link my large ice live edge mold for you down below if you are interested all right yeah i have no idea what to expect with this one you guys let's just rip off the band-aid shall we Ooh, look at that it's like a yellow brick road off to see the wizard <laughs> except it's not yellow that is cool it's like cobblestones and it closed. Yay, it closed. Look, we've got the dark around the edge, that black around the edge. Not really, uh, considering I just used black and white, it's not really grey. It's more of, a, more of a beige tone. Can you see beige or is it just me? That is really cool. It's almost like it's a, what do you call it? No, not a circle. <laughs> I don't know. A spiral. A spiral. That's the word. It kind of gives me spiral. A little um, feel to it. And there's the edge. Is that ice edge? Oh, let me know what you think of it, guys. I'm kind of in two minds. Like, I knew it wasn't going to be a traditional pour, but I was just curious to see what it would do. But yeah, it does look like cobblestones. And you can see like different rows and they're all like different shapes. So I actually quite like it. And I don't feel as if I have to cover the center with a sticker, which is which is really nice for a change. <laughs> all right. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my little video. And uh, that was pretty easy to do, isn't it? Definitely going to have to work on this again. I, I quite like it. My little cobblestones. All right. Thanks again for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Uh, come back and see me again next time and we'll see what I'm up to then. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> Love experimenting. Okay, take care guys. Bye for now.